In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing how to make your rap songs more entertaining. Sometimes we as rappers can become too self-absorbed when we're writing our songs and not take the listener into consideration. It's important to remember that the end goal is to share our music with other people in hopes that they are gonna enjoy it. And while making music is a form of self-expression, we should also be thinking of ways to make it even more entertaining and relatable to the listener. And one thing that helps with being more entertaining is just understanding some basic human psychology. And human psychology is the study of the mind and behavior of humans. In other terms, understanding how your brain and your behavior works doesn't just apply to you. It applies to every single human being. And if you're a rapper, you're also an entertainer. And it's the entertainer's job to captivate their audience. And the first way that you can make your rap songs more entertaining is by tapping into your listeners' emotions. As a rapper slash entertainer, you are in the emotions business. It's your job to make the listener feel something. If you think about why you remember some of the things that you do from the past, it's likely because it's attached to some type of emotional or traumatic event that happened in your life. For example, first time experiences is a big one. You likely remember the first time that someone stole something from you because it made you feel disgusted and sad or your first crush because you felt excitement and admiration. You also likely remember times when you did something really stupid and risked getting into a lot of trouble because you felt fear and excitement. If you can write a song that conveys one of these human emotions, then your song's gonna be way more likely to resonate with your listener. For example, Dance with the Devil by Immortal Technique is a dark and heavy song that will leave you twisted up on the inside. It made such a strong emotional impact on me that I still remember the way that I felt the first time I ever heard it. And apparently I'm not the only one because it has nearly 50 million views on YouTube. And here's a list of 22 more emotions that you can pick from when you're writing your next song. Adoration, aesthetic appreciation, amusement, anxiety, awe, awkwardness, boredom, calmness, confusion, craving, empathetic pain, entrancement, envy, horror, interest, joy, nostalgia, romance, satisfaction, sexual desire, sympathy, and triumph. The second way to make your rap songs more entertaining is by storytelling. Since the beginning of time, we have gathered around fires to tell stories. If you reflect back on your childhood, you likely remember how much you enjoyed a good story before going to bed. We as human beings love a good story. It's in our DNA from many moons ago. Every song that you write doesn't have to be in an autobiographical format, meaning every song doesn't have to be a factual representation about what's going on in your day-to-day -day life. Or even if you do write a song about your day-to-day -day life, it does not have to be 100% factual. Just like movies, it can be based on a true story or it can be totally made up. A few really good storytelling songs that I recommend that you check out is a song by J. Cole called Wet Dreams. This song is very realistic with a great plot twist at the end. And this may or may not have happened in J. Cole's real life, I don't know personally, but he could also be telling a story about what other kids go through. Instead of talking at kids, he's telling a story from a kid's perspective, which makes it very relatable and powerful. And on the opposite side of the storytelling song spectrum, you have Eminem's song, When the World Turns. Now this song is clearly not based on reality. It's very cartoonish, it's totally ridiculous and inappropriate, and it displays his dark, twisted sense of humor. Eminem sucks you into his crazy little world that he created just for your amusement. And if you do try to write a storytelling type of song, I do recommend that you approach it by doing some planning ahead of time before you start writing all your lyrics. Always follow the inspiration. If lyrics come to you, go ahead and get that down. But at some point in time, either in the beginning or after you get some ideas for lyrics, take some moment to actually plan these songs out. Think about, hey, where's this song going by doing uh, what is known as storyboarding. For an example, let's say the instrumental that you're writing over, it has an emotion that makes you feel sad and lonely and depressed, let down, and you come up with some concepts about like, let's say your first heartbreak okay and then from there you can say okay the hook can be basically saying 
I've never felt like this before. I've never felt this way before. And that's vague. OK. And then you can plan it out and say, OK, instead of starting the song off, you know, let's say about a bad heartbreak. Let's say you start verse one off by you crushing over someone and you're just trying to build the courage to ask them out. That's verse one. Then the hook comes back in. I never felt this way before. So it's like your first time falling for someone. Right. And then verse two, you're going out on your first date. Things are picking up, spend a, you know, spending lots of time with each other. Hook comes back in. You never felt this way before. It's like your first time falling in love. And then verse three, the person that you love stops calling you as frequently. Things are becoming distant. And then you see them out with someone else. And now your heart is broken. The hook comes back in. You never felt this way before. You know, so it's like the first time you got your heart broken. And so by planning it out like this in the beginning, each hook takes on a different meaning. And you know exactly what direction you're going for throughout the entire song. So that way, by approaching storytelling this way, you know exactly where the song is going. It's like driving a car. We don't typically jump into cars and start driving until we know where our destination is. So when you're doing a storytelling type song, it helps to know what the destination is going to be. The third way to make your rap songs more entertaining is by writing from alternate perspectives. And I already hinted at this earlier with my J. Cole example, but you don't have to write every song from your own first person personal perspective. Try to put yourself in someone else's shoes and imagine what it's like being them. In J. Cole's song, Wet Dreams, he raps from a young male's perspective, but he also writes from a young female's perspective. Switching perspectives is like switching camera angles in a movie or a TV show. And as the songwriter, you're the director, so you can have a lot of fun when it comes to writing from different perspectives. Another really good example of this is Joyner Lucas's song, I'm Not Racist, where he raps from both a black and white male perspective that's having a back and forth dialogue, and it's really powerful. And the fourth way that you can make your rap songs more entertaining is by escapism. Many people listen to music because they want to escape the stressfulness or the dullness of their day. There's a reason why people don't particularly want to hear about stuff like politics and stuff like that when they're watching like their favorite sports game because they hear about that type of stuff all day long. It's at their jobs. Their friends are talking about it. It's on social media. Sometimes people just want to get away from all that. For an example, in the past, we've gone through financial recessions, such as in 2008 when we had a lot of businesses closing down. But one industry that was still thriving was the entertainment industry. There were still tons of movies coming out. Comedians Comedians were fully booked all around the country doing shows and musicians were still packing out concert venues. And many people were struggling financially at this time, which made the desire and the need to escape just that much more greater. As an entertainer, you are an outlet for people to escape from a boring day or a stressful week. And don't be afraid to try to make people laugh in your songs. Every single song doesn't have to be so serious. Some songs can be all about having fun. And think of yourself as like a musical chef. Your songs are the meals that you prepare for your listeners to consume and enjoy. And all of your songs don't have to have the same taste or emotion. And it's okay for some songs to just be an appetizer or dessert. So the next time that you're writing a song, consider one or a combination of these four techniques to make your rap songs more entertaining. My name is Cole Moss with ColeMossStudios.com, where I strive to make you a better rapper now. And if you're trying to perfect your rap skills, make sure that you get yourself a free copy of my ebook, The Number One Fundamental to Rapping. You'll see it up there in the corner of your screen. I'll also post a link in the video's description below. And make sure that you subscribe to this channel for more straight to the point, no BS, how to rap video tutorials just like this one. And always remember, when it comes to rapping, there's no rules, there's only techniques. Peace. Hey man, you see that subscribe button right there? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, and don't forget the bell icon. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Hey, I know you see that like button, right? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. And look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself today I'm gonna kill it, kill it.